So we'll start the next topic that is assembling and cabling that Cisco devices. In this chapter, we are able to learn about what are the chapter objectives for this is explain whatever the networking devices, then connecting the devices to the router means how you can connect to this. What are the WAN devices which we are preferred for Cisco administrations. Then uh, comparing the network devices means what are the differences in between the different devices like this. This is what our chapter objective for today's topic. In this, before we start this, I want to recall about the previous topic that is uh, TCP IP protocol suite that allows the data transfer in between the networking devices. These protocols use the layered model which is similar to OSM. The TCP IP stack has five layers with the different protocols functioning on each layer. The five layers of TCP IP stack are applications, transport, network, data link layer, and physical layer. Every device on a network using the TCP IP protocol and that requires the IP address. The IP address is a 32-bit number that is unique for each device. 32-bit binary IP address is represented as 4 octets, each consisting of 8 bits. Subnetting refers to as process of grouping definite number of devices. A subnet mask allows you to identify the network number and the host number of a particular IP address. So, we are able to study about the TCP IP protocol suite, what is exactly and why we can use this, what is subnetting, how you can convert that subnetting, what is VLSM with the, uh, actually we'll uh, solve one example also. Now we are moving into that networking devices. First of all, network consists of many computers which are connected together. In addition of computers, there are additional devices to enhance data transfer in terms of speed and quality. The various devices that help to build the network that include hub, switches, routers, repeaters, WAN devices and bridges. These devices are connected to each other using the cables. Cabling is of three types. One is straight through cable. Second one is crossover cable and a rolled cable. The choice of cabling medium and device in the network is dependent upon the factor such as organization requirement, cost factor and type of data to be transferred. Now, which are the devices? The networking devices needs to be included in the network for regulation and organization of the network. The network devices increase the rate at which data travel over the network. They also organize the data, reducing the data traffic on the network. Some of the network devices are include hub, routers, switches, bridges and repeaters. 